Hi guys, so let's now take a look at the acid test ratio, also known as the liquid capital ratio. Now this is a more severe test of liquidity because it deducts the least liquid current asset that is stock or inventory. Now stock needs to be actually turned into sales to actually transfer it into cash. So thus we can see that inventory or stock as it's also known is clearly the least liquid current asset. Okay, so we can see more severe test of liquidity which deducts inventory from current assets and inventory is the least liquid current asset. Uh, now, by liquidity, just to remind ourselves, we're talking about the ease with which you can actually pay your day-to-day -day debts, okay? Uh, and liquid assets, i.e. cash, is obviously king when it comes to actual uh, repayment of uh, your uh, short-term uh, liabilities or current liabilities. Okay, so businesses will seek to achieve a ratio around about one to one. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's uh, just remind ourselves of the key features here. Here, we've got one pound uh, of current liabilities. So for every pound of current liabilities, you want to retain at least one pound of current assets minus the inventory. So it does require the business to actually test this on a regular basis to ensure that they do have sufficient uh, liquidity to be able to repay those short-term debts. So in terms of actually calculating the uh, liquid capital ratio or acid test ratio, it's simply your current assets minus your inventory divided by the current liabilities. Okay, That will enable you to calculate uh, this, this calculation very easily. Okay, now let's just take a little look at what we've got here. So you can see I've put down current assets at 50,000, inventory at 5,000, meanwhile current liabilities are uh, 40,000 pounds. So let's just work through the numbers, putting them into this uh, uh, formula that we've actually got. So we can see we've got 50,000, uh, 50, let's put down 50K minus uh, the £5,000 worth of inventory that the business holds and then we've got our uh, current liabilities which of course total £40,000. Okay, so from this we can see we end up with £45,000 uh, to £40,000 current liabilities. So from this calculation we would end up with uh, a ratio of around about this sort of mark, okay? Uh, so just to remind ourselves, we can see that roughly speaking, we've got one pound of, tw uh, sorry, one pound 12 of current assets for every pound of current liabilities there, okay? So uh, that is one pound 12 of uh, current assets for every one pound of current liabilities. So would we have a concern about this business and its ability to actually repay its short-term debts or its current liabilities? Well, clearly we wouldn't because they do have sufficient uh, sufficient current assets minus the inventory to repay uh, those current liabilities. They may want to reduce this slightly, uh, so they may want to reduce that slightly. How might they actually go about reducing this ratio? Uh, well, you know, what could be done there, of course, could be actually enabling them to increase the current liabilities. So that is uh, negotiating slightly longer uh, credit periods with uh, their suppliers, perhaps, taking on more trade credit and therefore having a higher level of uh, trade payables. Uh, OK, so nice and straightforward stuff.